Dear all, Namaste. Today, I shall be discussing about the impedance matching mechanism of the middle ear. What do you mean by impedance? Impedance is defined as resistance for something to enter or obstacle for something to pass. The flute impedes the sound traveling from the middle ear to the inner ear. As you know, the sound travels faster in the solid medium than liquid and the gas medium. The middle ear contains the ossicle whereas the inner ear contains the flutes. This impedance of the inner ear flute allows only 1% of sound energy to go inside the inner ear. That means around 99% of the sound will be reflected back from the CP's foot plate. Therefore, the middle ear amplifies sound intensity to compensate for this loss by converting sound of low pressure and high amplitude to high pressure, low amplitude vibration which is suitable for driving the cochlear fluids. So the pressure of the sound has to be more concentrated in the steepest foot plate to drive the inner ear fluids. The impedance matching mechanism was described by Helmholtz in 1968. Let's discuss about the factors which are responsible for impedance matching mechanism. One of the important mechanism is ossicular lever ratio. That is, the length of handle of malleus is more then lung process of the incus by around 1.3 times. Therefore, this magnifies the sound by 1.3 times. This is like a lever. Effective surface area ratio of TM to Stepi's foot plate is around 17 times. Therefore, this amplifies the sound by 17 times or, or the pressure in the Stepi's foot plate will be increased by 17 times. This is the most important factor that is responsible for impedance matching mechanism. Even if the malleus or incus are absent, if we can make tympanic membrane to stabilize connection, then there will be much improvement in hearing. That is called as myringo epexy. The third one is TM catenary lever, that is curved membrane effect. The sound waves, as they pass towards the tympanic membrane, will be focused on the malleus, leading to a catenary lever action or curved membrane. When the malleus is less mobile, that membrane acts. The sound wave will dampen the malleus and therefore there will be curved membrane and that leads to gain of around two times in the tympanic membrane. The sound waves are always focused on the center of the tympanic membrane. So that leads to some form of improvement in hearing and that magnifies around two times. Therefore, therefore the total mechanical advantage becomes around 45 times which leads to a gain of around 30 to 35 decibels. So that much amount of energy is produced in the steepest foot plate area to drive the inner ear fluids. We can see here this is the malleus. This is the sound coming from the environment. This is the external artery canal and the sound goes to tympanic membrane. This is the tympanic membrane. Then to malleus. This is the axis of rotation of malleus and incus straight line and the sound goes to the steepest foot plate through the steepest. This is the steepest foot plate. Therefore, the effective, the effective length of malleus, this is the malleus, and increases around 1.3. So this acts as the fulcrum. Therefore, the total mechanical advantage produced by this mechanism is 1.3. Or the sound becomes 1.3 times more stronger as it goes from the malleus to the incus. The catenary lever action provides around two-fold increment in sound intensity and the effective vibration area of tympanic membrane to the stepage foot plate gives the gain of around 17 times. You know, this is the stepage foot plate and this is the tympanic membrane. The stepage foot plate being smaller than tympanic membrane helps to concentrate the sounds here. That gives around 30 decibel gain in the hearing. So this is all about impedance matching mechanism of the middle ear. You know, the nature has done a great thing in the hearing part. Please subscribe my channel for more videos like this for both the practicals and for the theory. Thank you. Thank you very much.